just some of the estimated 4 million Italians currently living abroad. They may represent only a small proportion of the country's population of 61 million, but they will be counted on election day. I've heard it said time and time again that Italians are fed up with their politics and fed up with their politicians. But could a change in the status quo come this time, not from Bari or Bologna, but from here in Britain or Brazil, where young Italians are emigrating for a better life? Italy has one of the few parliaments in the world that reserves seats for overseas constituencies. Campaigning here, London-based candidate Manfredi Nulli. My message to Italians here and the rest of Europe is that we can be a driving force and we can send a strong message to Italy, to our friends who live in Italy, to our families who are still in Italy for change and for making Italy really a more modern country. What sort of impact do you think that you can have, Pierre Luigi, as an Italian living here in the UK? Uh, in Italy we always so um, uh, convinced that nothing can ever be changed, nothing can ever be um, improved. And then you come here and then I myself, for example, opened my own company um, after a, um, a couple of years of living here and it took me 25 minutes to do this over the phone. If I was in Italy it would have taken me six months, eight months just to go to the bureaucracy. What is it that Italians need when they're living away from Italy, from their lawmakers? We don't want to be forgotten because we moved away, but that doesn't mean that we don't want to go back. But for these voters, at least, until there's real political change, the better life remains abroad. We've obviously been in different countries for many, many years now. We've learned a different way of doing things. We definitely want to contribute to Italian politics, but we also want to send a very strong message back to the Italian government that things need to change, and things need to change now. Becky Anderson, CNN, London.